Finally, Elden Ring DLC updates. And finally, Killer Clowns updates. And almost mechs in Hellblazers 2. We're going to talk about all that in a little bit more. So. Welcome, nerds, to this week's edition of the Gaming and Tech News, generally speaking. Now, I'm no Linus or Spawnwave or Gamers Nexus or insert channel that is dedicated to the tech and gaming news here. That's not what you're getting here. This is just enough to keep you informed, generally speaking. We do this just about every week as part of a larger news show called The Week in Nerddom over on the main channel. You can find that linked down in the description or at the end of this video. Now let's talk about some gaming and tech and maybe even some like photo video kind of news as well. This week, starting things off, we're going to kick things off with the Elden Ring bit. Uh, Follow-ups and corrections, Shadow of the Erd Tree dropping a trailer today, actually, as you're watching this. But as being as I filmed these the night before, I don't have a trailer in front of me to talk about. So there will be a trailer. Follow the socials if you want a, a, a more immediate reaction to said trailer. Otherwise, we'll talk about it next week. From there, let's get into actual trailers that we got this week, plus a bit of an update on the Killer Clowns game that kind of has fallen off the map since last year. Uh, so Killer Clowns pre-orders have been opened. They will start again today as you're watching this, February 21st. The game is set to release on June 4th. Like I said, link down in the description. If you want to watch the trailer, you should go check out the trailer. If you are a fan of the asymmetrical asymmetrical horror survival games this looks like it's going to be an incredible amount of fun and i'm kind of really excited to possibly find the time to play maybe <laughs> uh, but yeah it's terravision games is uh, going to be the producer again release on june 4th so get your pre-orders in now it will be on all of the major current generation platforms being playstation 5 xbox series consoles as well as steam for the pc uh, and and then we got a trailer for a game that I honestly had never heard of before this. But again, thank you to the YouTube algorithm for suggesting the thing because Hellbreach Vegas is a new game that is inspired by Left 4 Dead and Call of Duty Zombies. Interesting, no. It is going to be open for a free beta test starting once again today as you're watching this, February 21st. You can go check out the pre the, the free beta test. The actual game launches on March 11th. This, I mean, it's it's inspired by Left 4 Dead as well as Call of Duty Zombies, but there's a lot more to this gameplay, I think. Go check out the trailer because it is rather interesting, the, the kind of spin, the uniqueness that they have put on this, and I'm intrigued, I'm not going to lie. That's what we got for the trailers, though. Let's talk about some regular-ass news in gaming and tech. Our first bit has to do with, that's right, we're talking about that Helldivers piece that we've been teasing for a second now. Helldivers 2 is, in fact, getting mech suits. And, actually, the mech suits are basically done according to one of the publishers it just there's there's a big there's a big caveat to that first uh, it's actually kind of two caveats one of them not so big the first one is got a little bit of polish left to do it's not it's not anything the polish is not the reason why we don't have them yet because the polish could be done if not for the server issues yes that's right children they're blaming the fan base kind of in a roundabout way and it's not in a nefarious way either because it's more of a, this is a great problem to have kind of situation because the server issue, because they were not expecting to be as popular as they are, they've had many, many, many server issues with people not being able to connect to servers to play the game, etc., etc., etc. So that is taking priority over any new DLC content, which rightfully so, because what good is DLC if we can't play it. So once they get the server situation taken care of, they will be launching the mech suits. So it will be happening soon-ish, even though the original trailer said that the mechs would be soon after launch. 
they're gonna kind of have to take a little bit of a uh, little bit of creative license with that soon that they were using because they were not expecting this which again good problem to have so not really a jab at the production company just yeah not 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 happening as soon as we would like there is a trailer again linked in the description uh for i believe it highlights the mech suits I honestly watched so many trailers of the course of the last like two or three days. I can't remember exactly this one, uh, but the big piece here is mech suits are coming, just not yet. Psst. Hey, so I'm just, you know, passing the word around that like, if you subscribe, he feeds me a whole goat. I don't know about you, but you know, I like to eat. So do a dragon a favor and, and click that little button down there and uh yeah it'd be awesome i mean we talk about the stuff that you like anyway like movies and video games and other human things that nerds do plus it costs you basically nothing all you gotta do is click a button right and then i get to feast it's delicious so uh thanks in advance and stuff and uh also, if you comment or you hit the like button, he puts seasoning on it too. So yeah, maybe try that. Either way, let's get back to the show. Okay, bye. Next up, we have Nintendo Direct has officially been announced for, once again, say it with me, children. February 21st, so tomorrow as I'm filming this, so we will try and get some active re reaction stuff to what is being announced in the Nintendo Direct, but the intimate details we will probably be discussing in next week's episode. It is expected to be a relatively short-ish Nintendo Direct at 25 minutes approximately. It's also going to show us what the focus is going to be for Nintendo up through about June as far as the Nintendo Switch goes. And then presumably around about then we'll get another Nintendo Direct that will explain to us the rest of the year maybe? Who knows? <laughs> That's what we got for that one, though. Let's move over next to Avatar The Last Airbender. Not only do th are they getting the Netflix show or the Netflix show is happening or whatever, but also there's a new fighting game. It's a 2v2 fighting game set in the Avatar The Last Airbender universe. Uh, the interesting part about this is the uh, developer is Maximum Entertainment, who have done two ga fighting games of note. They're very unique. First one is Diesel Legacy, The Brazen Age, and the other one is Them's Fightin' Herds. Yeah, your sheep. <laughs> your fighting sheep. Just the art style and like the 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 tone is kind of the big thing about both of those games that has fans intrigued. I wouldn't say there's a lot of upset fans about this, but there's definitely a lot of trepidation about this because Avatar is fairly heavy material from time to time and them's fighting herds in and of itself <laughs> just the title alone tells you that that thing does not take itself seriously at all so yeah very intrigued much like the community we will have to see what happens from there that's what we got for regular ass news though in gaming and tech we brings us only to suggestions the suggestion this week for gaming and tech is a tech suggestion, and honestly, this one's a little bit of a cheat, not gonna lie, but it is a free streaming platform. For any that don't know, Freevee is really starting to knock it out of the park. Uh, Freevee is the free streaming service from Amazon. I don't believe you actually need the Amazon account for Freevee to work. You can get it and download it and watch things anonymously. Uh, think it's, they just, they're the, the, the reason, let me, let me lay this out. The reason why I'm doing this is because they put Baby Driver on their streaming platform not that long ago. And Edgar Wright is a national treasure. I don't care if he's from England. That movie in and of itself is enough of a reason for me to put this streaming service as our tech suggestion this week. So go check out Freevee. Download it if you haven't already. Not a sponsored deal. Just really like the service.
That brings us to the end of the video, nerds. Thank you very much for joining me for the news. Once again, there is a full and probably much more up-to-date and recent episode of the news, the full-length version, if you will, called The Week in Nerdom over on the main channel, linked down in the description and probably link popping up somewhere around my face right about now. So click on that, go check that out as well, or if you prefer your news in more truncated pieces, then by all means, just stick around here and go check out some of the other stuff we offer on this channel. Thank you very much for joining me. We will see you in the next one. Before we go, always, always remember, nerds, that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here.